strawberry fields. Welcome back. I'm on the outskirts of Silifke. And today I'm riding to the ancient city of Sebaste. The stealth camp. Wish me luck. Ooh. Take a look at these berries. So rich in antioxidants. Very nice. Most of them aren't ripe yet though. There's Salifke out in the distance. I love taking these back roads. This is the real deal out here. Here's the main river. Just downstream of Salifke. All right, we're on an unsealed road now, going alongside this little aqueduct. water tower. on the highway. Okay, I'm about eight kilometers from this ancient city. Nice. We've got a big old castle over here. It's unfortunate that it's closed. I'd love to explore it. Very cool looking castle though. Kiz Khaleesi it's called. Oh well. Goodbye Kiz Khaleesi. Nice. Some more ruins over there. Got another water tower up here. Is it climbable? Huh. So I couldn't yeah. climb that water tower. No, what, what? But there were people here who invited me in for coffee. That's nice. This Russian guy invited me to stay at his house. My sibling? Ah. Oh, it's very, very <laughs> similar. Trailer? Trailer, yeah, yeah. One ticket, trail. Okay, I get mine, okay? Yeah. Well, that's an interesting development. Ready, life. Ready. Trail. Oh, Turkish. Turkish, yes. What? What? Australian. 
Yeah, by parking, super. Go. Okay, <laughs> bye bye. Hey, in Australia, if someone caught you sneaking down to take a look at their water tower, they'd yell at you and threaten to call the cops. Here, they invite you in for coffee and invite you to spend the night at their house. Wow. There's the abandoned hotel. Beautiful ruin. <laughs> no shower, <shadow. laughs> no electric. To check your dad in. Huh. This is the dude's house. Yeah. You building? <laughs> Very good. Nice. Electric. Ah, okay. Soup. Yep. Water. Got it. Soup. Yep. Nice. Washing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Тим, мой дом – это твой дом. Располагайся и делай тут, что хочешь. Тим, мой дом – это твой дом. Сетл down и делай, что хочешь здесь. Это шекула. Нет проблем. Эй, как ты говоришь «спасибо» на русском? Спасибо. Спасибо. Да. Ты спишь? Два. О, окей. Один. One, one, two. Okay. <laughs> Sleep. Ты пока э, умывайся, а я приготовлю покушать. For now, you wash your face, and I'll prepare something to eat. Okay. <laughs> face, okay. Hey. Okay. To check your uh... Dush. <laughs> That was quite a fateful decision to stop and check out that water tower. Really altered the course of events. Nice. Seemed appropriate to bust this out. My Russian vodka that I got from that nice place up at Siedra. Mm. Oil? Yeah, chocuzel. Lime? Mm hmm. Quite the view from up here. Look down there, you can see Kiz Khaleesi and its sister castle just off the coast. 
There's the water tower, made the fateful decision to stop at. There's some nice ruins. There's that abandoned hotel. There's some more ruins. I'd like to check out that abandoned hotel and those ruins at some point. I'll get around to it. No rush for now. Time to experience Russian hospitality. This is his homemade vodka. Kinda keen to try that, although I do have plenty of my own. Nice. That's handy. Made in Russia. No, nah, nice. <laughs> Mm. Olive. Olive. Mm. This is Russian buckwheat porridge. Sounds great. Mm. And chicken. Okay. By the look, it may not be impressive, but it is very tasty. <laughs> it looked good. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm. This is good. Thank you. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. Drink. Okay. Uh, one moment. Yep. Uh, Она очень крепкая. Если хочешь, разбавим. Здесь 50 градусов. She is very strong. If you want, we can dilute it. It's 50 degrees here. It's okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, okay. Yes. Send you Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Wow, <laughs> very strong. Mm. <laughs> mm. is very wild and cowardly but she sees me and I see her and we see each other okay Mordagilio. <laughs> uh, Oliver? ah uh, yeah okay yeah man <laughs> you yeah? Uh, yeah 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 mm, okay chicken yet eat <laughs> mm -hmm. can eat Kit, cat, cat, cat. English day, cat. I made a trailer for my bike on which I attach a solar panel. Oh, okay. Mm, charge? Hmm. Yeah. Organize. Organize. Time to make sleeping arrangements. See you in the morning.
Good morning. That was a nice night. Vladimir is very kind to have taken me in. It's a beautiful view from up here. Looks great in the sunrise. Vladimir's just gone down to the market to get some bread so we can go fishing. So in the meantime, I just want to have a quick look at this big abandoned hotel. I can hear dogs barking inside there, so... There's clearly somebody guarding this. I'm not going to go in there because, you know, you can see it from here. It's going to be more of the same, I bet. What I am going to do, though, is go up the hill and check out those ancient ruins. We've got a whole herd of goats here. And the ancient castle ruin. Let's have a closer look. apps. What was this? A church? It says castle on the map, but I don't know. Those arched windows are beautiful. Christian evidence. Got an ancient road here. Evidence of an archway used to go over the road. There's that fateful water tower down there. Crazy thing was, I could have chosen one of those other water towers to climb, but I blew past them and chose that one and spurred on this whole interesting series of events. Nice. I can hear a bell over here. Of course, more goats. Now what was 
is this? Another church? Or is this a castle? It's quite ornate. Check out that carving. It's kind of churchy. Beautiful apse up the front. These are the best ruins, the non-touristy ones, lost in the goat grazing territories. Hmm, got a necropolis now. Nice sarcophagi. Just a rubbish dump now. What a shame. A little cross there. Ancient necropolis. This one's just carved straight into the rock with a lid. Got another ruin over here, hidden away in this lemon orchard. Anyone know what this is? Is it even edible? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, that's horrible. Ugh. God. What even was that? I was hoping something tasted like green beans or snow peas, but no. It just tasted horrible. Pure bitterness. Disgusting. Disgusting poison. Oh well, always worth a try, right? So that there is fresh water flowing out from underground. So this whole pool is partially fresh water. Interesting. Nice erosion on that mushroom shaped rock out there. Let's see.
Hardcore. He's pretty big. Vladimir is looking for something, and I'm not sure what. Hmm. Lynch. Nice. Gutted and descaled, ready to make a stew. Mm. First, you need to eat the liquid and then the fish. Ah, okay. made it to the chasm of heaven and hell. Chasm of heaven, the pit of hell. Nice, this is a cheery place. According to Vladimir, first I have to go to hell, then go to heaven, and then I have to go to the asthma cave. Sounds great. Okay, here we go. It is the pit of hell over here. Oh, wow.
that's quite a cavern. Definitely more hellish than that other one. Look how thin the ground is there. Imagine you could be walking around on ground and have no idea that such a chasm is underneath you until suddenly it collapses below you and you fall in, sucked down into the depths of hell. It's quite a thought. So there's a staircase down into the pit of heaven, excuse me, the chasm of heaven, and that elevator is for coming back out again. Nice. <laughs> Quite a large boulder here. Quite the elevator up there. This is an incredible chasm. Vladimir stayed up the top because he says he's been here a million times and doesn't need to pay to come in again. Fair enough. What a wonderful guy that Vladimir is. He took me into his home, shared his catch with me. It's just wonderful. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You can feel the temperature dropping rapidly. It's getting much cooler now. Hmm. Fifth century church dedicated to the Virgin Mary. And that must be the Asma Cave down there. Oh my. Look at those ancient Christian frescoes. What a decision to stop at that water tower. One of the best decisions I ever made, really. Good move building that church in the chasm of heaven. Pit of hell's no place for a church, right? I can imagine such a place as this fascinating ancient Christians. But I trust the earth will hold up this massive, massive piece of rock only a meter above my head. I guess it's held it up long enough to form all these stalactites. This truly is an impressive cavern. I imagine one day though, the roof will collapse, and it will form a sinkhole of its own. Hello? Ah! Alright, this has probably been a very long video already, so I'm going to leave it here down in the depths of the cavern of heaven. Thank you to Vladimir, Selim and his wife for inviting me in for coffee. Thank you to everybody.